Kate, can I put these in your basket? Kate, I have some more. Drop them in there. Yay! It really is nice to see a small farm that can survive. In the era of big farms, big tractors, massive amounts of yield per acre, this is a small farm that can survive in an area surrounded by subdivisions here in West Knoxville. So many people get to drive down the street and enjoy this right here. This is the Beauchene Berry Farm here. I'm Brian Beauchene. My mom, Alice Beauchene, actually owns and operates it. My parents bought this property in 1985 and started planting blueberry bushes at that time. They were just small little plants. It takes a few years for them to mature and start developing enough to produce blueberries. My mom and dad were about to retire, so they wanted to do something in retirement that would utilize their skills as farmers when they grew up and that they could share with the other neighborhoods around here. We started this about 35 years ago. My husband was a UT professor and he was looking at what would we do when we're retired? What can we plant? Blueberries. Okay, let's do that. To start blueberries, you've got to research of what kind of blueberries? Well, these are all rabbit eye. That's the type that grows here. So now these bushes are over 30 years old and produce blueberries every year in abundance. We have families come out and pick the berries and take them home, enjoy them as fresh berries, put them in smoothies and pancakes, that sort of thing. We're a pick your own blueberry farm and we also have blackberries too. We didn't start with that. In 85, we just envisioned blueberries here. We like growing those because we don't have to spray them with any sprays the way you might do apples and other fruit. These berries have absolutely no sprays on them at all. In fact, we eat them right off the bush all the time. There's certainly rainwater on them, but that's all. You can sample them as you pick. So many kids nowadays just get processed food at, you know, out of restaurants and grocery stores that aren't really you know, grown with care and the tenderness that we put into these bushes. We really like to see families see where their food comes from. These blueberries don't just come out of a freezer at the grocery store, they come off a bush. There are some that aren't ripe, you don't pick those. These are ripe, these are the ones you want. Once they're ready, yeah. Just sharing the experience of farming is as much as what we're about as the farming itself. There you go. Okay, one, two, three. Blueberries are very healthy. There's antioxidants, nutrients, vitamins, all sorts of things like that in blueberries that people are just now discovering are so good for you. And they're so fun to pick. I got it. You did get it. Very good. There's no thorns or anything like that. Kids can enjoy picking them. The parents and grandparents that come out with them too have a good time. Well, when you get here, you grab a couple of buckets, go out and pick berries, bring them back, weigh them. Oh, so you picked all these berries? We did. Wow, those are great looking berries. So what we do is we put them on a scale and weigh them, and we figure out how many berries you've got. So you don't need to bring anything except if you might want to bring a belt, wrap it around you and attach your bucket to your belt, that way you got two hands to pick berries with at the same time. Or you can bend the bush down, pick berries like that, the ones that you can't reach, you can put in your bucket. So having a belt is really a good idea. Most people bring sunglasses, maybe some sunscreen, wear a hat, and definitely bring some water. We're picking blueberries in June and July, so it's gonna be hot. If you see berries on the ground around a bush, you know that those are gonna be ripe ones. That's gonna be a good bush with great berries on it. If you pick berries that aren't totally purple, if you just let them sit out a little bit, kind of like a tomato that's not quite ripe, let it, let it ripen a little bit on your counter and then eat it a day or two later. I really enjoy seeing all the kids come out here and they'll bring their parents 
and grandparents and aunts and uncles meet up with other kids out here, have contests to see who can pick the most berries, see who eats the most berries while they're out here. It's just so nice to see families enjoying blueberries and a great activity being outside in nature, you know, really seeing them enjoy a farm right here in West Knoxville. We have so many nice repeat customers just enjoy seeing them every year. I never imagined I would come back to farming in retirement. You know, I had enough of it as a child. I didn't want to come back to it. Now I do appreciate it though, and I like it. It's different. Small farms, although maybe hard to manage, are possible. And we'd like to see other people develop, maintain, and, and produce small farms that grow great food right down the street from your neighbors. <laughs>